Dave Sharif. I'm Dave Sean. No, you're not. <laughs> you're my dad, Dave Tom. Oh, oh. No, he's not. He's my dad, Dave Tom. Oh, oh no, the not. other one? <laughs> you, didn't, you never told me about him. I didn't know. Sure. We're uh, brothers. brothers. <laughs> oh. I don't need Mikey oh. Tables as a brother. So Dave right, right. right. Tom is over here from Ohio, and he brought us a bunch all, of beers. All of these great beers from Ohio that will be a many a side wait, wait, wait. car. Neighbor Tom brought side piping, just so you guys know. Oh, Neighbor the, Tom, you side piping? And he That's also it. brought. Skin fruit, uh, yep, yep. which is pretty awesome, also. Very big in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, <very laughs> they big. love the skin fruit. It's half hearted, you know. I mean, uh, that's the best thing that you can ever do Street when you go to a brewery. Yeah. Like, like, what are you, what are you, what are you drinking? Hearted. Hearted. Was it you? It was me. Oh, oh, was it you? That was true. I did. It was oh, I it's always my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Thank you so much okay. for coming on. Glad uh, I could be here. I love you, Dad. Oh, thanks there, Tom. Oh, love you, Dad. Yeah, guys. Like, oh, so, uh, yeah, welcome later. to the fence bar. Coming to you. Get out of here. Okay. All right, I love you. Uh, we're, we're live on Maybe almost tape from the beautiful nice, Lower Hudson Valley. In, uh, in, in, on well, tape. Right on tape. Uh, we're live on tape. tape. Dude, it's been super stormy. We've had rain. It's probably rained Oof. like 10 days in the last 14 days. It poured today. We almost had a fence bar inside, but then we the skies cleared. We were prepared. We were prepared. <laughs> we're like Boy Scouts over here. We're well, ready to go. But we're and, out here. But it, because nothing can stop the fence bar from fencing. Yeah. You know? I mean, in, in, in life itself, you need to have an excuse to fence bar. Unless it's raining, like, really hard. And then we could maybe yeah, go yeah, into the garage. But we could have shown off the what? <laughs> Fence bar, fence bar to, to go. go. FBTG. Fence bar to go, man. Uh, which we guess I will have to keep hidden behind us yep. as a new secret thing that you guys will be able to enjoy on a future episode. Or maybe in your own backyard. Absolutely. Ooh, so, so, so kind of leave that guy there. Oh, that's my buddy. Oh. So this is episode 12. Uh, if this is your first episode with us, this is the fence bar. And the fence bar is literally the fence where Sean and I live. I'm we are the, I'm on this real side. neighbors. Yep. This is my real neighbor. This is my real neighbor, Sharif. And he lives over here. I live over there. And this is the fence that I separates us. I live all us. the way over there. Yeah, you do. Mike, you live with here Amy. on thir every other Thursday. You live over yeah. here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sometimes on the hammock when he has to go, uh, he needs to go home. Amy goes, you got to come home and do something. <laughs> Sometimes he's a neighbor here on the hammock. You I just know. blew it up. Oh. You blew up my spot. Did I say oh. that out loud? It's a good thing we're not recording. But, but this is literally the fence that separates us. We turned it into a friendly little bar, and uh, it's become kind of a community gathering place where everybody kind of comes, hangs out, and like does their thing. And we, you know, all of us have stressful lives, and we've had stressful days. Weeks. I've been have stressful weeks. I've been having a rough time with things. Yeah. But when we're out here, it's just about hanging out with your neighbors, breathe, chilling out, getting to meet everybody. We got so many food. awesome guests here. Speaking drinking of which, drinking yep. amazing What's beer. What's our dad light of the night? I think our dad sure. light, it's Thousand Stars. It's Thousand Stars. Uh, by Ale White Brewing Company, who we happen to have the first ever cans ever released this here at Fence Bar. is the only place where you could have ale wife cans in the whole wide world First not time. the city not nope. the city not nope. the town nope. the world Woo! Well, thank you pat doniger thank, thank you pat, pat fondler you guys are the best you guys are good neighbors a little hey. foreshadowing they, yes, they, they yes. will be on later and we have some other beer that we're drinking from them as well uh, I'm pretty excited about that. And also, we're, we're changing things up a little bit. Uh, we're bringing down the amount of minutes that the Fence Bar is going to bring to you to make it a little bit more digestible. So on that note, let's bring on our first guest. Well, hold on. Let me just talk oh, a little sorry, bit about sorry. these Ohio beers. <laughs> I mean, I was, I'd like to keep Hurry it that up. short. Hurry up. Hurry no, up. We have five minutes. Go, go, go. We haven't done five minutes yet. Five, four, I just wanted to say, like, three, two. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, let's just go then. No, let's see. What is it? These are Ohio beers my dad brought, and he kept them cold, people. He transported them because in, in lieu of doing a beer brains, I think it's important that, like, it used to be that when you would bring beer from home, you might bring one brewery uh, that you that came from Columbus. There's like 28 breweries in Columbus, Ohio right now, and they're putting out the hits, baby. They're cutting great beer. I've got a, a North High uh, glass right here from a great brewery. Gavin, thank you very much for the glass. Thank you, Gavin. We've got some couple North Highs, some Hoof Hearted's. We've got a, a, just a bunch of beers that are local. And uh, and I think that that's the great thing that now we can do. So uh, Not as local as Thousand Stars. That's true. Let's Thinking about it. local, let's talk about neighbors. Let's bring on one of our favorite neighbors. Oh, uh, that might be my favorite, actually. Yeah. And uh, neighbor, uh, this neighbor has been on the show already for Beer Brains. He was promoting a gun buyback program that he was doing in Peekskill, Peekskill. where he was, um, he had an event, a beer event, 
people would go drink beer, buy the beer, you and still all the money. You can still do you it. You can still go to the River Outpost, River Outpost. and buy the Peace Skill IPA That's a dollar. That's the first one I get. I love that beer. A dollar from every uh, uh, one of those pints goes to help the buyback program. And with the buyback program, they are buying back guns, and the guns that they're buying back, this neighbor is creating well, sculptures. Let's bring him up. We, let's not talk about it Let's anymore. bring him up. Jeff, Jeff Fader, Fader from Fader Knives. Oh. I need a lighter. We need a sidecar. All right. Thank Jeff and the... Uh, That's a sour. Yeah, sidecar. All right, be good. <laughs> sour sidecar. Jeff, did oh. you bring any knives with you? No. Oh, That's damn it. We wanted to get drunk and throw some knives. You had you to bring a sidecar with you, Jeff. Oh, he's I, got his sidecar in his dad life. Whoa, oh, wait. I don't really... I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. All right, well... You your glass a little bit. So at Fence Bar, we All usually right. have two glasses. We've got our Dad Light, which right. is your easy, Ooh, crushable beer, thousand and that's your Thousand Stars. stars. I had one of those over there. They're oh. delicious, aren't they? Sidecar? They're delicious. And then you have your Sidecar. That's mine. Should I go get this in my life? And your Sidecar is your share no. beer, and this is a beer know, where... You know, these are all Here. Ohio beers, and so we can't each go, have Jeff. one. I had to open one of them. That's all right. Don't forget to Amy's share drink that. that one. All right, yummy, all yummy. right, all right. We all, all, right. We all have a... Uh, well, thank you very much for having me. This has been very, you know, being asked to come back has been a, it's a pleasure. I appreciate it. You're always welcome. You've got a standing invitation, and thank you for uh, setting up the coals, cooking the coals for the I fire. Mean, it wasn't a much more. Thank you. Well, I'm with you. you would never know. How so anyway, you. let's talk about the Hudson Valley and Westchester. Yes. Uh, you grew up in Manhattan. Yes. And then you and your wife moved up to first Dobbs Ferry, where, which is where I'm from. Yes. Right? Big Dobbs Ferry. It's a great right? town. Right. And then you moved up to Peekskill. Yes. So for someone who's not from the Hudson Valley, Westchester area, right. how would you describe Westchester and the Hudson Valley? Well, I, I'm, I'm from Manhattan, and I grew up in... Of Dutchess County a little bit, but when I went up to Westchester, I, there, there's a new, especially along the river, mm. there's a lot of amazing new uh, places for people to go and things to see, especially during the seasons. Yep. Um, Westchester, especially along the Hudson Valley, is gorgeous, incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Bear Mountain to uh, Storm King. Oh, we just the, went to Storm King. It's amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, season, season, season ticket holder. Got to tell you, one of my favorite oh, places. Oh, high level. Yeah, man. Yeah, high season level. ticket holder. There's Never really, uh, the there's really nothing like That's the river it. towns. It's very hard yes. to uh, explain what the right. river towns are, but the river towns are all the little towns like going right up north and Hastings on Hudson, yeah. Ardsley, Dobbs Ferry, Ardsley, Irvington, Irvington Terrytown, Sleepy Hollow, Peekskill, Scarborough, yeah. and and yeah. Croton and Peekskill. Right. Um, and so you are a knife maker. Yes. What's it like being a knife maker? It's weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You're the only weird. knife maker I know. Yeah, well, I'm I'm, I'm the only, well, yeah. <laughs> you're the only yeah. Are you the only knife maker that you know? No, I'm, I know. The knife making community is fantastic. But, yeah, you know, I was a blacksmith for a long time and a sculptor. And, you know, making knives is one of these great things that you're able to kind of make something for someone to use to cook food for their families. And it's very gratifying. It's, it's, it's got to be like an intimate relationship that you have. Not too intimate. <laughs> You're yeah. sharp. You can't get you too, get too, get too intimate with, with the knives. <laughs> Pro tip, don't get too intimate with one of his knives. No, sharp. Yeah, you just kind of... And, and Jeff, you also, so uh, you're not only a knife maker, but uh, you're also an artist and a sculptor, and there's yeah. a lot of your work around Peekskill, and like we said, you're, yeah. you're part of the Peekskill buyback program. Right. Um, we've seen a lot of your work at La Factoria, Finn and Brew. Right. Uh, the river outpost. Over, though, How did I mean, you get involved with, uh, with with those guys and doing all those sculptures out there? It's funny that you ask because I, uh, well, growing up in New York, I was when I was, I actually went. To, I was talking to your father. I went to college in Ohio, so you we, did. I went to Kenyon College in Gambier, uh, forty minutes north of, 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 of Columbus. So when I as an as an art major, I was actually working for a lot of sculptors in Brooklyn during the summer. And we did work for a, uh, a restaurateur named Louis Lanza. And Louis we, Lanza. so when I was 19, I was making sculpture for Louis's restaurants in Manhattan. Oh. So when I moved up to Peekskill, we reconnected, and he's been su just such a incredible force in Peekskill. He's a huge but he's, force. He's got like five or six he's, places he's, now. He's 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 amazing, and and he and I've been friends for a while, and and anything he needs, and. I make sculptures for his restaurants, and it's always a pleasure, and I really, you know, believe in Pete's Gill, and I believe in everything that he's been doing there, so when he when he asked me to do something, I, I don't, there's, I'm always two days before his deadline, <laughs> I wanna, because, you know, what he's doing is unbelievable, and at Factoria, Hudson Room, um, at Taco Dive Bar, Buns and Bourbon, 
I've done stuff in all those places, and it's just, you know, it's made Peaks feel that much better. Yeah, yeah that's so awesome. So, I, I love it at Finn & Brew. There's that one wall yeah. of lures. Of, that yeah, yeah, that's me. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. What, is, yeah. what is the, uh, a, 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 like, a affiliation with lures? Because I know you've got a lure tattoo. Yeah, well... At least very alluring. Don't you agree? I'll hold it. I'm going to put these goddamn things I'll hold down it. Give it to me. So, 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 <laughs> oh, I, that wasn't me. That, uh, lures are amazing. And when I was in college, I was, in Ohio, I was doing a lot of fishing. And we ended up doing a, I had a sculpture class where we had to take something small and make it big. Where were you fishing when you were at Kenyon College? All over. Yeah. Ponds. And there was, I mean, Ohio is the best fishing. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. There's a, but freshwater fishing in Ohio is fantastic. It is. So I had to take something small and make it big. So I had all these Rapalas. So I made a giant Rapala. What's a Rapala? Uh, a fishing lure. You know, a giant fishing lure. So I made okay. a giant fishing lure. And it was one of those things that it was this great object. And then I started making more of them and I started selling them. And, and I, I, you know, lures are one of those things in fishing in general. I think that people lose the idea of what fishing is. It's this mm. kind of really, it's this incredible hopeful. It's a lot about hope because, because <laughs> you know, you, you leave, you leave during in the morning and you don't know what's going to happen and anything can happen. And it's really like a reflection of what could happen in life. And you know, you hope for the best and something's exciting could happen or you could get skunked. But the idea of, you know, something great happening. And I've always liked that about lures. They're very directional. You know, I just one of those things I've always done in you know, a lot of sculpture. That's great. Yeah. You know, what is the greatest explanation of fishing I've ever heard yeah. in that's, my life? We're just life. waiting for well, something to know. happen. I'm well, ready. I mean, you know, you it's, it's, it's either great or terrible, you yeah. know? Or, yeah. or good. Here's a you way know? that I've always made fishing great, and I, I believe in the bucket of chicken uh, <laughs> that <laughs> you take on. You, you put in a bag. You don't tell your friends if right. you're going with somebody else. Oh, yeah. And you have that long day. You compliment the casts, of course. You you go, oh, you're gonna get it. But at the end of the day, if you don't get anything. I got a bucket of chicken. Uh, well, what a would, bucket of what? Raw chicken or fried chicken? Or what? <laughs> no, That's fried whatever you chicken. want, man. No, so it's, I mean, rendered. It's yeah. rendered. It's, it's the best thing because it can still stay crunchy. I thought crunchy. you were gonna say the best part is like you just drink a lot of beer and no. have a great. But time. you can also use it for uh, you can use it for bait. For sharks. Yeah. We used to go fishing. I used to take a good fishing trips, and the last fishing trip I went was was your friend John Sharp oh. and a few other guys. And I was always big on like making a big meal and. Regardless of whatever happened, you had this very big communal meal. We usually do paella or some grilled stuff, and something kind of like exciting to make it. You know, if you get skunked, yeah. you're still having a good time. Well, John awesome. Sharp and Tim Breaking know a lot yeah. about my bag, uh, my bucket of chicken. They certainly <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, bet they do. I bet they I've know all about it many yeah. times. So yeah. you guys haven't yeah. caught anything else. Well, we get a lot of stuff, right. but at the end of the day, chicken. you're not eating small you still want chicken. Yeah. All right. So yes. um, we end every one of our meet the guest neighbors with yeah. three questions. Yeah. Uh, we didn't give you a heads up on these questions, Good. but also this is super Good. spontaneous. Yeah. Question number one: yeah. What kind of beer do you have in your refrigerator right now? I right have, now, um, an, a can of all day IPA. Hey, excellent. Yeah, we got one of those. One. one, just one. Are you saving it for a special no, occasion? No, I just <laughs> forgot it was in there. I was <laughs> reaching for a seltzer when I realized that I had one in there. I was like, oh, I'll save that for some other day. Perfect. Cool. Question number two. Go ahead. All right, so you're going to uh, you're gonna have a party. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like you might throw a pretty wicked party. No. Well, then. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had, some good, I've had some I good ones. I've had some. I think you could. The blacksmiths, though, it's all weird. Well, yeah. how, what, what beers are you going to prepare for your fellow blacksmiths to come and enjoy at your barbecue? I, you know, the funny, I'll tell you the funny thing is I'm the worst blacksmith to be here because most of my blacksmith friends are huge beer snobs. Like yeah. crazy. They're all from Vermont, New Hampshire. So there's a lot of good uh, beer up there. Yeah, there's a lot of Nipa. Perry. A couple, couple good breweries. There's a, yeah, these guys are like serious beer guys. I, I, you know, I... I'm probably gonna keep local. I, I'm probably gonna be Captain Lawrence. Captain I, I, Lawrence. I, I'm from oh. I'm from Westchester. I'm from Peekskill. Captain Cole, so there's I, wrong I'm with that. a. I mean, Scott's a great guy. I support him. I when I buy buy beer and I don't know what the hell's going on, I get some yeah. fresh. Buy local, like drink local. Yeah, that's I it. love it. Period. Question number Absolutely. three. Go ahead. Um, what is your most definitive moment oh. with beer? This is, is there a memory that you have? Define uh, you know, in regards to what? In oh, terms it was of the like time, a memory. It was the time that I came in and interrupted the show and yeah. grabbed the beer. Uh, when you were it. drinking yeah. your just, beer. Just take it. Super definitive. Yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, you know, uh, a, a first high school party, a, a kiss, a first kiss. Remember uh, Rebecca when first... you shared that natty light? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. So underneath no, the bridge, no. that was, that was no. me. You mean like, so is that you need me? You need an all right. If, you want if, an if early you, underage drinking story? No, it doesn't well, have to be. It's just, yeah, is, it is, well, there, a moment, it is there a moment you had with beer that just stands out in your mind as a special moment? And the answer could be no. I think he's got it. I, you know, I, um, yeah, sure. All right, listen, we're going to go definitive. Definitive was I grew up in Manhattan, 
in the 90s when you could underage buy beer. And it was very exciting to go in to buy beer underage. And it yeah. was awful, and I don't suggest it, but it, was, it happened. But you, you feel it kind happened. Of, so, definitive, there you go. Perfect. Thanks. Uh, America. We always, so awful. we said there were awful. three questions, but we, we always like to sneak the last in a one third one. one. one in. Um, go ahead. For someone who's not from Westchester, yeah. what is a Westchester tip or a Hudson Valley tip uh, for someone who's visiting In regards this area? to what? In regards to anything. anything. Like, what, what should someone from, uh, who's not from around here do when they come up to Westchester? They should drive up from Peekskill through Coal Spring and Garrison and up to Beacon and see how beautiful the drive is and see all those great river towns and kind of just explore that area. And Boscobel. Go to Bosco Bell. What's Bosco? Bosco? Bos you don't know. Are you faking? Is this true or fake? I don't know that. I don't know what So Bosco Bell is this amazing place on the Hudson River that they do Shakespeare plays, and it's overlooking the Hudson River. Who's that? It's been, I who's should that? know this. Yeah, we and it's been, and it's and it's extraordinary. And you, what people do is, well, this is for you. You're yeah, a thespian. Yeah. So they, so they, what they do is they have these big events, and you can come early and picnic and tailgate. Picnic. And then you can picnic in front of the river, and then afterwards they do these great. Place. I love Bell. Jeff, if you could please look Bucking in the Bosco camera, Bell. tell Bucking everybody where right. your shop is, okay. how they can yes. find you, if somebody wants knives yes. or anything, yeah. okay. how the hell do they get them? Fader Knives, F E D E R K N I V E S. Uh, Instagram, Fader Knives, dot com, Fader Knives on Instagram and Fader Knives dot com, and I'm in Peak Skill. Peak Skill, baby. That's it. Peak Skill. Peak Skill. Thank you. You're a good neighbor, man. Hey, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for the invitation. Yeah. And thank you for the bottle opener. You made us a bottle opener. Hey. And and I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. I'm with you. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. This is great. Cheers. Thank you. I believe in peak scale. <laughs> well, all right. So we're we're changing things up because beer brains we're not doing. People, I know everybody wants beer brains, but we have something more important than beer brains. We got something special tonight. We have uh, we have the owner and the sales director of one of. Uh, Brooklyn's, Queens, Queens, Manhattan, Six Boroughs, the New York State's best breweries, Ale White Brewing Company, and I kind of feel like we should bring them both up right now. Let's so you bring might, them on. You might have to just move over. I'm these gonna are, like they're big personalities. Hot, hot fondler. Oh, guys, I need a Doniger and, and a I need Doniger a Doniger and a Fondler. <laughs> Don't fondle the Doniger though. <laughs> Where do we go? And you're, the, right here. You're gonna right here. But first. We're going to open a beer for you guys. No, come here. Go, they have the go here first. Yeah, make sure you're going to open a beer for you guys first. And these guys, you know, I don't know if everybody's heard of Alewife, but Alewife is really one of the hottest breweries going on right now. These guys are pumping out some amazing stuff. Um, it's all, I was talking to Pat earlier, and Pat, you said it's all about crushable beer. Make sure beers you're looking at the you, camera, too. I beers that you weird. can you drink. What do you, should there? we put one over here? Nah, What's better? Good? I yeah. like it. I like yeah. it. Hey, Sean. Hi, Pat. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> so I've known this guy for uh, one. Of, he's one of my oldest and dearest friends. Both of these Fucking guys. Fifteen years. Are actually fifteen years. We've known each other. The longest fifteen years of your life. It's been emotional. Ups and downs. Ups and downs. But the same thing with uh, Mr. Fondler over here. I think he, Sean and I might be twenty. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. It's, it's, we it's both a long meet. Time. We both met Pat when he was bartending at the gate. Yep. That, the was, that was when I opened the cherry tree, like, that's fucking 10 years, more than 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I went to the gate, was like fucking Bobby, like uh, legend. Still there. And Yeah, still there. I'm rocking. I'm buying a wife here. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> You're welcome. But, uh, you know, like, no. it's it's uh, it's crazy how things turn around, you know? Like, we've been, we've been friends. We, I, friend, Pop was one of my first New York friends, really. But you've been talking industry, about you know? opening up a brewery, my friend. Since I've known you. From day one, yeah. Yeah, you know, and it, like, it, since it, I opened it, like, I remember Jeff Gordon drinking six point beers at, at the Cherry Tree. Uh -huh. And like, I yeah. found another beer and I saw the home brew. And Chris Guzman taught me how to home brew. Chris Guzman, Fifth Hammer, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've been brewing since, and, you know, I don't get to do as much anymore, but. That was, you I used opened to my bars to eventually open a brewery. You know? so, so Patrick, today happened. <laughs> well, he, he's always been, he's been a pioneer in the beer buying scene. As being a beer salesman, Patrick's always your best friend because he wants everything that he can get that's good. Uh, and now he's turned it into, I'm just going to make the best. The best beer. <laughs> and um, it's been so damn good. How, how great yeah, is that? I, I got the best fucking brewer I can get my hands on. And Pierre Hamilton. Uh huh. Uh huh. He was the mad scientist, I guess, at six point. And uh, you know, he it's like we have the same philosophies of how we want our beers out. Then Pat came along, and we just talk and we clicked, and we've got a good fucking thing going. You know, it's like, or 
we're two weeks out from opening our brew pub. Two weeks from yeah, opening the then, brew pub. And then, so Kier gets in there Monday week, and he starts, he'll start brewing the beers. We're going to do our official launch on September 7th. September 7th, the seven official nights. launch. You'll see Fence Bar will be rolling hard. If you're yeah. at a roulette table, it's seven and nine. <laughs> city. Um, so, you and know. you're doing, you're doing a fun, an interesting thing, because you've got a, a brewery in planning in, in Queens, but at the, at, at the Long Island City, city uh, location, you're doing a scullery? Yeah, the scullery is... Uh, so describe, what, what does a scullery right. mean? So, Keir's Scottish, yeah. I'm Irish. So in I'm Scotch-Irish. Ireland. Wait, who's yeah. Keir, sorry? Keir's our head brewer. Okay. And um, so, him being Scottish, I'm being Irish. So, sculleries, we're using castles all around the world, all around, like, Europe. Yep. And um, so, sculleries are test kitchens. So, nothing goes to the kitchen of a castle without it being tested first yep. for nobody to know. Yeah, well, like us, of course. Masses. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, so, and then, anyway, so we have, so we're going to do all our test batches at the scullery. The scullery and everything we brew there will be on top at the brewery. And we, that's where we'll do our collaborations, we'll, do our, we'll have all the fun. Nice. And then, um, Can we do a uh, like Fence Bar collaboration oh, there? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Dude, dad light. We <laughs> yeah, gotta make a dad light. so easy. Right. We're, we're stealthy. Yeah, I like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wonderful power. September 7th is the yeah. opening of the scullery yeah. in Long Island City, and we want everybody to be there. Yeah. Including we you. Want heavy, you. heavy. Yeah, Except know. you over there. <laughs> we want You're not too. coming. Yeah. So, you know, like this this has been a long time coming. I finally bought out of wife, and I'm like, now we're working on putting the scullery in there. It's, it's nearly done. We're using in house construction and. Christian Studios and, and they're fucking awesome. Yeah. And what we want to do is just we got a cool little SS brew system in there, and we're gonna put 20 fermenters in there. And we're gonna and really? we're just gonna start testing things out. We have a wild room. We have you know we want a clean room, dirty ass room, <laughs> filthy fucking so dirty what, room. So the dirty room you mean you're talking doing sours? Yeah. You're doing, yeah. You're doing the wild. Oh, it's not wait. Here it's not S and M. The Yeah. That's it. So we're gonna uh, Kier excels in Bar Legion and, and Cyrus, so you know, he makes oh shit. Uh, so he makes as you can tell like great beer, this nice is stars, phenomenal. Like, this is phenomenal. Like, it is just yeah. everything we're I really, wanted to really like. happy with this. It's as you know, we wanted to like IPAs are hot right now, but you know, to prove ourselves and to show that we're not fucking around, we yeah. wanted to bring a Pilsner in. Because to me, a pilsner is like the ultimate test of a brewery. And Absolutely, you Amen. can't hide anything. Well, in a pilsner. Pat, I've been saying that for years. That's that's, that's <laughs> basically. I mean, because when well, I went for victory and he was at Smutty, yeah. I mean, like we yeah. we were all we it's were like all about when that. I'm, when I'm buying beers for my bars, I've always thought like I want. Can I? They're like, oh, we're bringing this in, we're bringing that in. It was like, can I try a pilsner or lager you got? And then yep. I can tell if it's good because you can't hide shit yeah. in a pilsner. You can hide anything in an IPA or a big right. murky, dirty IPA. You can oh we fucked it up. Let's throw more in. Yeah, and then we'll sell in it real pilsner, quick. You Interesting. Can't. You just you have to. Wait, you have bars? What yeah. bars? Because we need a fence bar field trip to oh, yeah. all of them. Yeah. What, what bars do, uh, do you own, Patrick? You have to do a bar hop. Yeah. I yeah. know. Oh, all right. Yeah. Fence bar uh, field trip. So we, oh, we're doing fucking ro- uh, yeah. bar hop. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> well, it's happening tonight. 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 Yeah. Load it up. Now my parents are in town. Bring them on. I have uh, the Jeffrey on 60th Street, Fool's uh, Gold in Houston. The Jeffrey. Um, this is like yeah, wife smoking the Jeffrey? Oh, Jeffrey. And, um, and... The Rochard on the Upper East Side. Yeah, you can, how can you forget that? It's named after your wife. It is. Who is now what? Eight, six, seven? She's mad pregnant. She's mad pregnant. <laughs> Woo! Love you, Roz. Wait, so <laughs> it is. Uh, and, Ro- and Roz, by the way, is one of my favorite people as well, and Kiana's. Yeah. Uh, so. Does the name have anything to do with Roz? It's her last name. <laughs> it's the Rochard. The Rochard. Rochard. Oh, no, is sorry. Ale wife. No. She's the original Ale wife. She is the original Ale wife, too. So, uh, <laughs> she, she does everything back of house. Now, and so she's like the glue that keeps us all together. And um, it's it's all the wives are the glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything there's, together, an or, right? there's an origin for the name, though. And What's the origin? Uh, it's, the, the Belden uh, brewers were women. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's were, good. They were well, called Alewives. Alewives. Like, yeah. my, when my dad immigrated to uh, England and Wales, he was like 15 or 16 in the 50s, and um, so they would go drinking at the Alewife, and Alewife was the the bar. You go home to your wife, but Alewife is a book. That's oh. amazing. Uh, but also, yeah, Alewife is like like witches and stuff like that were the original alchemists. Women were the women, people that 
They made the beer. They yeah. made the beer. They made, like, that put miners in the med. He's like, here, fucking drink that and stop complaining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get drunk so you can pass out, you yeah. yeah. ordinary so awesome. bastard. So thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for bringing the beer. Yeah, the rain, uh, the rain is opening back up. If you can't tell, it's, it's pouring right now, yeah. but we've got a nice little though. canopy over here. Yeah, we also so. have Chef We o out here, no matter what. We're out here. Yeah. 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 Bar. And Chef Jose's got some uh, bacon, burger, Red Mexican, uh, corn. Uh, and we also yeah, have a backup see. garage. Yeah. If we need it, guys. Right. We're gonna so we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, tell these guys where they can find Alewife beer. I know there's an Alewife tap room, right? I would point this in the direction of my partner and head of sales. At last count, we're at about probably 140 uh, unique accounts so far. Um, and that's pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, we're taking this shit over. Yeah, you can go to <laughs> into this one right here. Alewife Brewing Company. Never mind, anybody knows, guys. Alewifebeer.com. Dot beer. Alewifebeer.beer. Dot beer. Alewifebeer.beer. Alewifebeer.beer. You can find all of the accounts that we're in. The cabs are coming hot and heavy. We're doing a release this Saturday of the Thousand Stars Pills. And then we have Electric Rhino, which is our session IPA that will be released on Saturday, and you can come down and get the cans. By the way, today is National IPA Day. Yeah. We're drinking Pilsner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we're we are rebels. the best of our we're rebels. September seventh. <laughs> September seventh. We're opening a skull. Thank you so much for coming. Five fourteen fifty first Avenue. Hang on a minute. And Queen. I'm not in it. Selfie. Give me your hand. I can't see things. There we go. <laughs> All right, so this was episode 11. I hope you guys 12. liked it. Uh, 12. Uh, These guys 12. don't know what they're talking about. It's, it's episode 12. 12. <laughs> well, so check us out on uh, Instagram. And if you liked Facebook. it, thank goodness. If you did it, well, we're going to be back next Come week back. in two weeks, and it's going to still suck. We're Tune gonna, in. That means you still like it. Yeah. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to rank all of these beers, so check it out on Instagram. We're going to... Set up the whole all these old, podium all these and Ohio beers. Out. I mean, this is an amazing selection of Ohio beers, and uh, and I can't wait to drink them all with everybody yeah. in the rain. Cheers, guys! I wish, we, I wish we had our whole crew. We're missing Joseph Murphy, Kyle Bosch. Yeah, love you guys. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Hamilton. Howdy, okay. fuckers. From the Hamilton. Hi, Cheers, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Nate. Yes, yes. Pat. I got a high five. Stay dry. Or stay it's slippy. Over here. Yeah, yeah. It is. Stay over here. We're going to stay over here. Let's hang out. Mike, you got something to say? That was a pretty one. Uh, uh, I do have uh, something to say, actually. Yeah. He has nothing to say. I just want you guys to know how much you have this episode meant to me. And then also, I want you to know here, Mike. how delicious these beers are. Oh, I wanted to crush it, but come on, right. oh, I forgot to give another shout out to Peekskill. Yeah, Peekskill! Oh, this is. You know, the alchemist always tells us, and maybe Elwife tells us too, eat your cans. <laughs> and then recycle them. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah!